Hi, I'm Jody Simpson. Welcome to Geneva Center and Camp We Can. This is our 11th year. Our theme this year is race day. We're on the final lap of the race. The first day we had our adult campers. The second day on lap two was the high school kids and today is our younger group. We have 24 campers today. Uh, we had a total of 67 through the week. So we're looking for a great day. We've had a lot of good sunshine, swimming, fun. We have uh, volunteers as in station helpers and counselors, and we're looking at about 100 from each day attending at camp. Hi, I'm Tina Hayworth. Um, one of the things that makes Camp We Can unique is that we actually encourage the parents or caregivers to come along with the campers. Um, this really helps try to allevi alleviate um, some of the stress that they have each day. We have separate activities for them. They're in a cabin with other parents and caregivers where they have a chance to network and uh, talk to each other and just have a day kind of off from their responsibilities and their duties. And hopefully it's a relaxing time for them. Today, some of the campers are really excited about having convertible car rides. Um, you know, when's the last time you rode in a convertible? It's been a while for me, so I know our campers are really excited about that. They're also doing picture frames that will hold pictures of themselves with their counselors and then a group picture from the day with everyone that attended and they'll take that home with them today. They're also tie-dyeing pillowcases this year um, to take home and use and it has our logo on it so they can remember the great time they had this summer. Another thing they're doing that they're really enjoying is making keychains for their race cars maybe. Um, they're using beads of the colors of their choice to make keychains to take home and um, I've seen a lot of campers saying mom I made you a keychain and they're very excited to pass those on. The local Boy Scouts were very generous and let us use one of their pine car derby ramps this year so our campers are busy making their fine-tuned pine car derby cars and we'll, later this afternoon we'll have a race um, and they're all vying for trophies this year, and so that'll be exciting to have that award ceremony later today. All right, and I bet you didn't know there was a drag strip at Geneva Center. Well, there is this week. We have rubber mats making our drag strip track, and campers and counselors and helpers later today will be racing their cardboard box race cars. Hi there, I'm Terry Carr. And I wanted to share with you that some of the reasons that we're able to provide accessibility is thanks to Geneva Center. It's one of the best kept secrets around. And I don't mean just here in our county, but we have folks coming. We're serving uh, campers from over 21 counties across North Central Indiana. And we have volunteers coming from about a 100 mile radius. So uh, the word's being spread too that this beautiful grounds is here and available. And we're fortunate that we're able to take advantage of it. And some of the reasons that all of this has become possible is because of folks like you. One of the reasons that we're able to make Camp We Can a reality is because of the funding that comes in. And obviously it takes a lot of money, a lot of support, a lot of in-kind services in order to make this possible. Um, we started out 11 years ago with a $2,500 budget. And the last three years we've capped it off at $18,000. Yeah, that sounds like a pretty inflated number, but I tell you what, when you think about the campers coming away, uh, they've probably got about three to four hundred dollars worth of stuff that they have encountered throughout the day and taking home with them from camp. Um, let's talk about those numbers a little bit because of every camper that we have, we invite and encourage a parent or caregiver to come along, so we automatically have gone from one to two. And let's talk about then the counselors. We have a minimum ratio of one to one, and sometimes two to one, depending upon that camper's needs. Some of the things that we encounter at camp is uh, Mother Nature in its finest and glorious moments, just like now. We have rain, but we do have backup plans, and nobody seems to really mind too much because fun can be had anywhere. Some of the funding that has been coming in to us over the course of the last 11 years has been from people like you. And the Community Foundation has been spectacular in making that possible. All the contributions are tax deductible. If you need any more information about Camp We Can and how you might be able to help, whether it be through your contributions, both uh, with treasure, talent, or time, 
please give us a call. You can reach us through the Community Foundation. You can check out the website at www.campwecan.com or give one of us a telephone call. Both Jody and I are here locally in Rochester and Tina is in Monticello. We're not hard to find. What a lineup! I just cannot believe my eyes. All these racers in one track. Here they are. Let's meet these drivers. In pool position, Hilly from Rochester driving the toughest car in the pack. A tank. It's Mr. Tom. Don't count them out, folks. It's the three pack. We 